This conference will now be recorded. Good afternoon once again, everyone. Last meeting of the day. I'll go ahead and call the budget committee meeting to order. And if he will allow me, I'll refer to our treasurer, Ryan Benefield, to walk us through the budget um, that he's proposed and developed for 2022. Great. Thanks, Scott. And if I can, can I share? If you let me, don't give me presenter rights, I'll. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh -oh. Okay, so first document, um, and it's in the packet, is a uh, copy of our audit. So uh, I just wanted to include that in there. Um, you can read from it. We have a, we have a very simple uh, financial statement and a uh, clean audit. Uh, the other thing I wanted to uh, show, and, and this is giving me weird things on different screens, but um, assuming you're seeing the statement of uh, our budget versus actuals, so our fiscal year actually ends at the end of June each year. Last year, since we had our meeting at the end of June, it was a complete report I gave you, but this time is through the end of June, uh, end of March uh, of this year. Uh, you can kind of see where we're at. We actually, uh, in, the, in the month of April, we deposited a third check of annual dues 
And we understand that one more is coming to us as we speak. So we should have all our dues in. And then you can see, because uh, a virtual year last year, we spent hardly nothing, anything. We always spent $186. And most of that was our crime bond, our crime policy. So uh, you can kind of see um, our, cash, our current uh, amount of cash we have uh, in our checking and in our certificate of deposit. It's about $36,000. And once again, that should be going up by another 1100 when we make our final deposits. Um, and so then uh, for the budget, um, and I hope you're seeing that. Um, hey, Ryan, I'm, oh, yes. Um, this is Sue. Would you mind going back to the page yeah. you were just on? And I'm sorry I didn't notice this until just now when I was looking just, you know, the five minutes ahead of this meeting. But um, in your the column headings, should that actually be FY21? I think our, I, I don't know, at least, I mean, most state budgets that operate on that calendar usually consider the fiscal year for the the one you're going into. Oh, <laughs> so, I see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I see right there. Yeah, I have it right up top, but I haven't changed it in that third line or whatever that, that line. Correct, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you're you're correct there. Like I said it's correct at the top, and the dates are right, but uh, but that that one line is is wrong. Right. Uh, yeah, minor thing. But okay. yeah, no thanks. I'll, I'll correct that. Like I said that's a carryover because I use the same form each year. Um, sure. So um, all right. So and what I'll do though is this isn't actually a final. So I'll actually present the final one for FY twenty one next year at the compact meeting next April. Um, since our fiscal year doesn't end till the end of June. Um, so I, usually what you'll see is we present it two different ways each time. Last year was an anomaly because we uh, the meeting was postponed. Sure. Um, for the bud my proposed budget uh, for the budget committee is uh, a very similar budget to what we had last year. Um, if you see uh, the 2022 budget, which will start July 1, um, uh, the anticipated cash balances uh, based on that previous report. Uh, matter of fact, I actually uh, added in to make what I anticipate July 1 being. Uh, if we keep dues at 550 per state, we should have $2,200 in additional income, not counting interest, which, I, which we don't usually include on here. Um, I kept our same budget expenditures, except for over the last, uh, well, as long as I've been treasurer, we've never got anywhere close to any of these numbers. So, uh, but uh, next year, I'm hoping that we get to see everyone in person. So we will have some meeting expenses. Uh, you know, one thing we will have to consider if we do not, if we do not print paper reports anymore, then obviously our budget will, that office supplies will be significantly less every year than we have in the past, uh, which uh, I'm supportive of, uh, in, you know, if everyone else is. Uh, and then, you know, we'll have money in there for meeting expenses. So with that, if we were to uh, spend all that, including that $16,000 with the contingency, we'd still have 15,000 in the uh, bank, in our CDs. However, I said, I think we've been averaging somewhere around a thousand maybe dollars uh, spent right now. So uh, with that, unless someone wants to make a change, this is the same budget we've had for as long as I've been treasurer and when Ed was treasurer before me. Any questions, comments? I'm okay with it. you have. The other thing to keep in mind, I keep, this is not on the budget, but where if anyone's expending funds related to the compact, they need to let me know and we'll send them a check. So, um, you know, if we need what you talked about, if, if there's any additional cost in adding those uh, last 10 reports or scanning them or getting them from USGS and having them scanned in, all that, we have significant resources to be able to do that. Uh, and you don't have to send them to me to scan in or get them done. Just have it done, get a quote, and when we'll have April, uh, we'll send you a check for any expenses that you incur. So, obviously within budget. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Thank you, Ryan. And since we have just a minute, again, just kind of for keeping our distribution lists correct, <laughs> then, so, so Ryan, obviously you uh, are 
or the budget committee for all extents and purposes. Thank you so much for Arkansas continuing to be willing to, to be treasurer. That's a huge help. Thank you. And then uh, Scott, as the Texas representative, um, I guess uh, Oklahoma, um, uh, Julie had mentioned Chris's name, but I don't see him on. So I, I guess I just wanted to verify who should sort of in, in my distribution be kept for the, the budget members from uh, Louisiana and Oklahoma. You, you can use my name, Ed. Okay, thanks, Ed. Yeah, uh, Chris wasn't able to join uh, right now, but if you have any questions, uh, Johannes or I'll try to answer them for you. But um, yeah, uh, Commissioner uh, Seidman was on the budget committee and the directory as far as that goes, but I'll put Scott in there for that. Scott. Thank you, Mary. Great. Thanks, Mary, for keeping track of all that. Appreciate it. Do we have uh, Mary? I'm sorry. Did mm -hmm. we? We need to probably furnish you with Robin's, Robin Phillips information. Yes, I, yes if you would, I, I got the, some information off of the uh, internet and uh, Sue had the, her email address, but if you'd like to send me what, what she would like to be reflected, just yeah, please do that. Okay, great, thank you. Anything else? Thanks again, Ryan. Appreciate it. All right. Well, thanks, Scott, for, for doing the, the bulk of the committees today. And I think I saw Carl yes, was on this for a minute, but uh, oh, you're still on here. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you, Texas, for hosting and Andrea, all the hard work you and James have done as well. And Robin, welcome. So um, I think we're all set for an early start. To, well, earlier for me than for the rest of you, I guess. So uh, an 8.30 start for Central Time. And um, I think we're in, in good shape. I guess, James, any anything else? Words of wisdom for us? This all worked great today. So thank you for getting all the go-to meeting logins all ready for us. And uh, Chairman, Chairman Lowry, this is Andrea. And I wanted to ask you and, and, um, and James both, you know, we had a number of folks who they got their materials together after the agenda had been posted. You know, we had some things come in late. Do you want to send an email out um, asking people that if they see that their their agenda item, their their report wasn't included, for them to go ahead and forward those to James and say this is for agenda item 6B, just so he has that teed up ready to go tomorrow and anything we're missing? Or do you want to just continue to use it? Do it like we do today, where they he just makes them a presenter as is. Uh, I guess I'd be good with that. I just you know how people are, where they one either might not read their email tonight, or two are still working yeah. on their PowerPoint. <laughs> so. well, we'll just that to be ready either direction. <laughs> yeah, what works best for you, James? That's what I'm saying. I'll just be prepared either way. I'll make sure I have the little folder of stuff. If you need it, I'll pull it up. If they want to present it themselves, we'll make that available. Okay, so it's up to you, Sue. If you wanted to send that out, great. If not, I, James is ready either way, which I appreciate. Yeah, no, I guess I think the couple of folks that um, that we knew were still working on theirs, like the Bureau of Reclamation and Corps of Engineers. So I think I think we have those, but I, I guess if James is okay, I'm I'm happy to just kind of be a little bit more on the fly, so. And I, I don't know that um, uh, Kim Lutz from the American Watershed is going to have a presentation, but if she does, I've not seen it. I don't think she sent it to any of us, so um, we may need to make her presenter when she does her thing. So. I just know in the last year, we've all gotten much more comfortable with this technology. <laughs> we have, funny. haven't we? <laughs> That's for sure. Before it was like, where's the button? Where do we click? Is this on? Yeah. That's That's right. Right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me yeah. now? <laughs> That's right. No, nope, we're getting more efficient, aren't we? Good. So. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, have a good evening, everybody, and we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.